Hello, my name is Celsa Yanili Ramos, and I will be talking about the nucleic acid and protein synthesis. So, um, I will be explaining how the DNA molecule is replicated. So, DNA is a molecule made up of two strands twisted around each other in a double helix shape. Each strand is made up of four chemical bases represented by the letters A, C, G, and T. The two strands are complementary. When T is in one strand, there will be an A in the opposite strand. And when there's a C, there will be a G in the other strand. Which you can see right here, the iodine and, and thymine. So the thymine is the purple one and then the iodine is the green one. And then you can see the guanine and um, the cytosine. Each strand has a 5 end and a 3 end. The two strands run in opposite direction. This determines how each strand of DNA is replicated. The first step in DNA replication is to separate the two strands. This insipin is done by an enzyme called helicase and results in the formation of a replication fork. You can see the shape of um, the DNA which makes a fork shape. The separated strands each provide a template for creating a new strand of DNA. An enzyme called Primus starts the process. This enzyme makes a small piece of RNA called a primer. So this is what starts the process, which is the DNA Primus, and then the RNA primers right here. This makes the start, which this actually makes the starting point for the construction of the new strand of DNA. An enzyme called DNA Polymers bent to the primer and will make the new strand of DNA. DNA uh, polymers can only add DNA bases in one direction, from the 5 end to the 3 end. One of the new strands of DNA, the leading strand, is made continuously. The DNA right here. On the lagging strand, numerous RNA primers are made by the primus enzyme and bind as various points along the lagging strand. Chunks of DNA called Akasaki fragments are then added to the lagging strand, also in the 5 to 3 direction. This type of replication is called discontinuous as the Akasaki fragments will need to be joined up later. Once all the bases are matched up, which are A with T, C with G, an enzyme called exonucleus stripes strips away the primers, the gaps where the primers were were are then filled by yet more complementary nucle nucleotides. The new strand is proofread to make sure there are no mistakes in the new DNA sequence. Finally, an enzyme called DNA ligase seals up the sequence of DNA into two continuous double strands. The results of DNA replication is two DNA molecules consisting of one new and one old chain of uh, nucleotides. This is why DNA replication is described as semi-concertative. -concert half of the chain is part of the original DNA molecule, half is brand new. Which, um, following replication, the new DNA automatically winds up into a double helix. So um, that is the information that I have for the DNA replication. This is my work site where I got all of my information from. Thank you.